Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So yesterday we did a video on CLX Gaming. Now they're a gaming computer company that makes basically kind of what we're looking at today, SkyTech. They kind of do the same thing. Uh, I left a pretty dang good review of CLX. So if you guys want to go check out that video, it's going to be in a card up above uh, in the top right corner, I think is where they show up. Uh, but SkyTech kind of makes gaming PCs as well as you can make your own custom ones. So we're going to be taking a look at how you know good a value and if you should buy one of their PCs. So guys, if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe. If you guys like the channel content, I try to put out as much videos as I possibly can. Uh, so any support you guys show me, is much appreciated. All right, so SkyTech Gaming is a gaming computer company and they sell computers and uh, they have a lot of different systems that you can pick from uh, and all these have different configurations of them. So you've got uh, Archangel series, you've got the Blaze series, you've got the Legacy and then you have the Omega series. Uh, all these kind of, you know, just change around different from different price points. Uh, usually the Archangels is kind of like their budget ones. Blaze is like their value ones. Uh, and then you kind of start getting up to the higher end tier ones. Now, all of these computers are actually fairly decently priced as of right now. Now, their prices have gone up a fair bit since the coronavirus kind of hit the world. Um, and that's mostly to do with just PC prices in general going up. I took a review at their SkyTech Blaze 2, the one on Amazon that they sell. Um, was actually a pretty good value system uh, for how much it was back in the day. I think it was for $699 instead of $750. Uh, but yeah, I mean, still, it's still a good system. Uh, and all these will play games extremely well. Now, I know one big thing that people like to talk about is just customer support and everything like that. And from what I've heard, their customer support is pretty good compared to a lot of other small uh, up and coming PC OEMs. So of course the people at the top like Cyber Power and I by Power will make sure that you get your system. They might not have the best customer support, but most of the time your system will come in working. Uh, and if not, you know, they've got a path to be able to get refunds. But with other companies like Light Gaming PCs, um, I've been getting more and more contacts from you know, people just getting their computers and they're not either a working uh, or they're just taking way too long and they haven't even got their computer yet. Um, so, you know, I don't know if that's just an internal issue with them or if something's just going wrong with their systems. Uh, you know, I can't talk too much about that just because I have not had a personal run in with them in terms of buying a computer. I have actually done a couple interviews with them uh, and just talking to their people. Uh, but yeah, so these guys actually seem a little bit more um, consistent in terms of their delivery uh, and of their customer support from all the people that I've seen. They are actually a pretty reputable company when it comes to making sure that your computer is good and working. Now, in terms of part selection that they use for their computers, I really like it. Uh, they are using AMD Ryzen parts, which I assume is probably their best bet in terms of getting price to performance. Right now, Intel isn't really the best uh, in that kind of area. That, I mean, sure, they are good at gaming, but they are still a little bit overpriced for the kind of performance they are offering overall in terms of against AMD. It's just not that great. Now, so a couple of things when you're buying from these guys, uh, I have taken a look at a design a custom PC. So I wouldn't really recommend building your own computer off these guys, because even if you are still using these same parts that a SkyTech Blaze 2 would use, um, it still is going to come out a bit more expensive than just ordering one of their systems. Uh, and that's mainly because, well, they're just charging extra for those computers and I kind of understand that to a degree but you're not going to be getting nearly as good as performance or value if you just put together one of their computers. And I honestly don't think it's very necessary for them to have a custom system builder just because all of their computers come with so many different configurations that it's kind of like do you really need to build a computer when there's so many different configurations for it? I mean, the CPU on these systems are probably what I would recommend uh, as well. Their graphics cards go up depending on what tier you are buying from. Now, another really cool thing that Skytech has going for their computers is this little FPS thing, and it shows you the different FPS that you are going to get at different resolutions. So for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is a pretty, uh, pretty popular title nowadays. Now, 
it is not Warzone, so you're going to get better FPS in Modern Warfare than in actual Warzone. Uh, but this is still pretty relevant. A lot of people still play Modern Warfare, just the base game. Uh, Borderlands 3, not very popular, uh, but I kind of see why they might put it in there. Uh, Control, don't know what that game is. Gears of War 5, never really played those games before, but they've got Fortnite and PUBG. Uh, so, I mean, these... These three games should give you kind of a general performance estimate of what your system is going to be giving you. So another thing that I really like to look at when I'm looking at a company is their high-end computers because a lot of times companies will kind of get um, a little bit greedy when it gets to their high-end computers. Uh, and mainly because they know that these people who are even considering buying these have money to spend and they're not really looking too much towards value. So these higher end ones are where I get a little bit um, kind of uneasy. Uh, this one I just wouldn't recommend because of the pairing with this CPU and the graphics card is not great. Um, this is a fairly middle of the road uh, graphics card that NVIDIA offers with the highest in Intel CPU uh, that was offered last generation, which still has really good performance. Uh, I mean, this one makes a lot better sense in terms of CPU and GPU pairing, but this one just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I know that I said that their design, your custom PC builder, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense when you are, you know, putting together a PC on a budget, but I think for the high end, you actually might want to go with one of their computers. So we're going to pick um, just any kind of computer case. We'll pick this one. I think this is the same one that was on that picture. Um, I don't, I'm not 100% sure if it has water cooling or not. So we'll just take the knock to one one. Uh, we'll just keep all this stuff on default. Uh, all these motherboards are pretty good uh, for in terms of the CPU. Actually, we've heard to change that. Um, you can only go up to an i7, which kind of sucks. Um, so we'll go with a Ryzen 7 3800X. And what kind of GPU are we rocking? Uh, we got a 5700 XT, which is actually a pretty good card. I mean, it rivals a 2070. Um, the 2070 Super actually comes pretty close to it. So we'll we'll pick a we'll pick a 2080 Super. That brings us up to $1,700. And then we'll get a one terabyte standard hard drive. All this stuff is good. So in terms of this, this is a lot better value than that other system that we were taking a look at with that i9. Uh, this Ryzen 7 3800X should be fine compared to that one. I mean, you're not gonna be bottlenecked by any sort of CPU performance. Now you are gonna have probably a couple better frames than this CPU. Uh, this is still a great CPU in general, though. The 3800X, you know, it's not that bad. Now, if you want to save a little bit more, uh, you can get the Ryzen 7 3700X and just overclock it and pretty much just get the same performance as you would from the Ryzen 7 3800X. Uh, but again, all these computers aren't terrible value. Uh, it's a little bit more clean, and if you would like better customer support and better kind of just overall experience with the company i would probably recommend sky tech gaming over a lot of other companies now again prices are high right now prices are going to be high until later this year i would say probably early fall or you know early winter uh is when we're going to start seeing those prices go back down once you know the supply kind of ramps back up uh once we kind of get that stuff coming in from china i mean i know power supplies are really really expensive than what they should be uh, as well as a bunch of other parts so guys i'm going to leave the link to this company down in the description below you guys can go and check them out uh feel free to check out our channel discord if you guys want to talk about tech or have any tech questions uh, again go check it out and i'll see you guys in the next one peace